but it's mostly unsupervised teenagers, the rebellious adolescents searching for identity who embrace LSD and sound its praises. And it was the most beautiful thing in the whole world. And then the paintings on the walls were dripping. And it was, you know, you could see the paint coming down them like this, just like somebody was hosing it off at the top and all the paint was running down to the floor. But it was so pretty. They were running. Just <whistles> like they were melting. Yeah. It was groovy. But that's the only that's the only hallucination I got off the whole trip. Often, however, they put it to frivolous use. A colorless, odorless, tasteless, inexpensive substance. It's considered by the majority of them to be nothing more than a shortcut to instant bliss, where actually it may be dangerously harmful. It's as easy to obtain as a hamburger at a local drive-in. In major cities like uh, New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, a purchase can be made on a street corner in a delicatessen or a coffee house. Night spots frequented by this clientele carry names like The Trip, Lysergica Gogo, The Doors of Perception, and The Brave New World. Members of the acid scene are no longer underground. Their widely dilated pupils are inevitably shielded from the light by dark glasses. Whether the users are dropping caps while seated in the back of a motorcycle or languishing in a movie theater watching the last year at Marienbad or Juliet of the Spirits. Surrealistic films which have heightened meaning for those who are turned on. It's a disenchanted, restless, insecure generation continually searching for new kicks. A 19-year-old expresses her feelings. Well, I never think of when I'm 20 or when I'm 21. I think of tomorrow or this minute and hope there's tomorrow. Because I don't like what's going on in the world. I'm scared of that more than drugs. I'm not afraid of them. Anymore. I'm just, I'm just scared, you know. Everybody is pretty uptight. An LSD pusher who sells the chemical at five dollars a cap tells why his business is burgeoning. And these people have the attitude, uh, you know, you live once, so why not take it? And apparently a widespread breakdown in parental discipline has removed the most basic restraints. A 14-year-old who has also experimented with heroin and benzatrine was asked whether her mother knew about her LSD habit. Yeah. She does everything. I don't have to hide anything from my parents. They're not that way. I'm, I don't hide anything from my parents. They don't hide anything from me. And we have a very good relationship. We don't love each other, but that's okay. You know, 